Hello, I'm so happy to have all of you here today. With me is Pauline Auditori, the Chief Operating Officer at Trevi Pay. She has been with Trevi Pay 15 years and in that time has been really focused on building out our customer support, managed services, AR automation, cash application, that whole department. Um, her focus really is on providing exceptional customer service. That's why she's in the role that she's in. That's why she comes to work every day and loves what she does. Um, she has experience in operations management, customer support management, business process improvement, strategic planning, and project management. So you can see how it's run the whole gamut. And building on those skills, she's built out what has become really robust managed services components of Trevi Pay. So without further ado, I'll kick it back over to Colleen, and she's going to share some of her data and customer stories and insights into AR automation. Thank you, Tara. Uh, thanks for the time today. So what we've been noticing is that the B2B payment space is prime for a lot of growth. And we have four things that we've identified at Trevi Pay that drive some of this. There is untapped potential in this buyer segment. So we've actually come across sellers that don't have a business sales team, for example. And as they're thinking about growing the business, this is an area where they've underinvested and now see the potential of investing there. A second area is where sellers want to dis disturb the current distribution model. And that means like going direct instead of using distributors. So that means in those cases, they will be going from one buyer to multiple buyers. So the payments become more and more um, essential in that model. The other thing is if you've got a B2B sector that you're selling to, a good way to grow it is to expand geographically and go into additional countries. And also the B2B buyers are way more complex and they're getting more complex over the years. And so the credit card really doesn't solve the problems of those B2B buyers. And so we're looking at the B2B payment space. So who is Trevi Pay? So Trevi Pay solves the order to cash pain points. And we do that through technology and the managed services. And the way to think about it is we actually manage a client's B2B net terms payment network. And as part of that, we've invested in a lot of the areas that we think are really important in this space, which is the AR automation, B2B financing, as well as digital procurement processes and support. So we run the gamut and we are really uh, the experts in this area and we've been investing in this area because it is our core competency. So when you think about B2B payment networks, it sounds like it's an easy thing to do. You only have to do three things really well. And the first thing is onboarding. So onboarding buyers, making sure that you're giving them the terms, giving them the ability to pay, um, making sure that you invoice them so that they get the invoice in the right place and they've got their terms and they are set up to pay you. And then on um, the last step is really collecting. So how do you get the efficiencies around collections? So onboarding, invoicing, and collecting at its core seems like that should be pretty simple, but it really isn't. Um, there's a lot of complexity in the B2B payment space, and that complexity is actually driven by the buyer and what the buyer needs in order to allow these B2B payments to flow. So we're gonna talk through um, three tips to getting paid. And the first one is the invoice presentment. And that really is what the buyer needs to receive, how they need to receive it, and where they need to receive it. And the what could be as simple as referencing the PO number on the invoice, or it could be as complicated as the line item details on that PO need to match that order specifically in order for them to accept and process that invoice. The how they need to receive the invoice could be as simple as a PDF attachment, or it could be an XML, CXML file that's delivered. And the where becomes also super critical. 
are you emailing the invoice to them and do you have the correct contact in the right department or are they actually expecting you to deliver that invoice into their ERP system or a custom portal? The second tip to meeting buyers where they are to get paid is really the payment acceptance. You need to be able to accept payments any way that the buyer wants to pay you, whether that's a check, whether it's online, ACH, or even in some cases, the buyer may want to pay their net terms account with a credit card. So being able to accept that payment any way they want to send it to you is critical. And then the third tip to getting paid is the cash application. So are you able to take that remittance advice from the buyer and apply the payments in the way that they have specified they would like them applied? So when you start to think about this and you think about the B2B payment space and the demands of these buyers, it is a very complex um, segment to really figure out how to make it work efficiently. So AR automation is essential. And here at TrebiPay, we've been investing in this for over eight plus years. And as you embark on this, whether you decide to go with a partner with TrebiPay or if you decide to do this on your own, what's key to automation is that you think about the scale and quality. A lot of times people only think about that scale component and without the quality, your offering is going to suffer and you won't have that great buyer experience. So some of the lessons we've learned as we've been working on this automation is that automation can't be built overnight. Um, it takes a long time and you almost need to do it in small steps as well to get to that right level of complexity. You need a fully integrated order to cash ecosystem with real time data. And we'll talk a little bit more about that on the next slide. And then you're also never done evolving your automation. This space is growing and changing and these, the needs of the buyers is continuously changing as well. So you need to be nimble enough to evolve with the buyers as their needs change. So automation is key. And I would argue that the order to cash ecosystem is the most critical part or the foundation of getting your automation right. And what this means is that all of your systems are interconnected and they're sharing data real time. Because the difference between knowing you got a payment or you didn't get a payment triggers very different activities in your automation. The other thing that's key then is you can achieve exponential impact within this ecosystem if you're combining the power of multiple tools. Um, and each tool serves the right purpose. So if you think about it, you have your CRM tools, your optical, characteris optical characteristic recognition or OCR tools, or the robotic process automation or RPA. And when you can combine those together, you can imagine savings of over 10 plus FTEs by just using RPA to complete mundane tasks. Um, let's say you have 500,000 payment reminders or dunning notices that you need to send out. And that would be the equivalent of 20 people sending emails all day, every day. And with automation, you can save those F 20 FTEs as well as if you're receiving 500,000 remits and you need to be able to extract that information and load it into a matching tool, you can save the equivalent of 35 FTEs with automation. Let's go back to what I mentioned about quality. So in our payment reminders and Dunning automation, you'll notice that quality really is key. And we've been able to remove the human error element because it's all rule-based and automated. We also can measure now our standard operating procedure adherence, and each of our clients can customize those SOPs. We can also meet the demands of our clients and their branding requirements in a white label fashion consistently every time. We're also able to scale. So how we scale is we think about the life cycle of an invoice or the life cycle of a payment 
and any of the different statuses that they may pass through. And we use those characteristics to make sure that we trigger the right next event to allow us to create a seamless experience for the buyer to be able to remit that payment to us and allow us to clear the invoice for them. The process is a combination of tools, as I've mentioned, one step of which is where we actually even use a robotic process automation and a bot goes out, compiles the information and attaches a PDF to the email that is the set of transactions that the notification is um, referring to. Another key use case for AR automation is electronic invoice delivery and presentment. And this is really an area that's grown quite a bit, especially after COVID. It's really how and where that buyer wants to receive the invoice. And if this is not a core competency of yours, where if you think about it, most sellers are either selling a product or a service, the invoicing is kind of just an afterthought of that. This becomes a very manual labor intensive process that the sellers have to implement. And this is really the delivery into those ERPs or portals that's more and more prevalent in the space. At TrebiPay, we've solved that a, a number of different ways. We either do direct integrations into the ERPs or portals. We also set up robotic process automation. So you could think about it as the, the robot is keying the invoices into those systems, or we create custom file formats that are consumable by the ERPs or portals. So even if you get all that right, the one thing that becomes the next pain point is what doesn't make it into the portals. And so there are going to be reasons why those transactions either reject or don't get approved for a payment once they're in the ERP or portal. So it's also key to have exception handling. So what do you do with those transactions that have rejected? We've also solved this with robotic process automation. And so we now are able to pull out those exceptions and create work queues that are the ones where we need the manual intervention and really focusing in the efforts for manual intervention only there where it's necessary and automating everything else where we can. What's really cool about this is once you create that frictionless buyer experience, you can actually see that it drives loyalty to you as the seller. We've seen as much as a 30 to 75% growth in buyer spend once you're able to get this right for them. So when we think about B2B payments, they're complex. Um, automation is key and it's also very important important to focus on scale and quality. And if you create this great buyer experience, you can see growth in your B2B business. And so I'd like to thank you for your time and also know that TreviPay can be your partner in this journey, or this could just be great information to kick you off on your own journey. And I want to go back to, you did make this point several times that automation is always evolving, that it's not something that's, you know, you just make a plan and steps one through 10 and then you're done. Um, where do you see with clients typically or people who are talking to Trevi Pay about potentially implementing our solution and services, where do you see people kind of get stuck? So what I, what I love about our solution is it's the full end-to-end -end technology and services and I think a lot of times they may just be looking for a point solution. Like I just have payment with cash application or something like that. But what, what is hard to overcome is the fact that in order to really solve that pain point, if you don't have that order to cash ecosystem with real time data, you're really not going to get the power of it. And so it's, taking that step back and looking at the end-to-end -end pain points through the full order to cash life cycle that makes you realize a point solution is helpful, but it's not going to get you really where you need to be. And I think another part of it is that's key. It comes back to what is your core competency? 
Um, at TreviPay, this is our core competency. We are running order to cash for all of our clients. And if you are a seller, focus your time on going out and selling more of your product and selling more of your services and leaning on somebody like Trevi Pay to be your expert on order to cash. Thank you so much. I appreciate your time today. Ah, thank you. And thanks for your time today.